Hello, I'm Billy. And Bernard, and, and we're going to do the presentation, or it's the practice session for the Check Job project. So, uh, Surika is not here today, but she will be at the synchronous meeting later, which we must still set up. Okay, so we decided to teach a group of elderly people at a retired, uh, retirement village uh, one or two things about social media. So shall we go to the PowerPoint presentation? I think so, that's yeah, a good idea. Yeah. Then we can... Uh, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to share my screen. And... That one? Happen. Yes. Okay, there's our uh, PowerPoint presentation giving you some background. I think Billy mentioned, talked about uh, our scenario here. Billy? Yes. Um, as, as members of faculty at UNISA, we're responsible. We're supposed to do research teaching and then also community engagement. So um, we thought as, well, as a, we can use this assignment also as part of our community engagement. So hopefully after the, uh, the module has ended, we can use the content of what we're presenting to you in the real world at the um, retirement village. So I refer to the retirement village. So our target audience, our students, uh, they're at least 60 years old. Um, they know a bit about computers. Um, they're not probably that smart in, in the use of smartphones and tablets, but they are eager to learn. And like we said, they, they all live together in the retirement village. So we can get them together as a group um, a once a week meeting and um, though they come from different backgrounds, socioeconomic backgrounds, they mainly Afrikaans speaking and uh, I'll ask Banner to say one or two things about Afrikaans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Afrikaans is one of the official languages in uh, uh, South Africa and we live in Pretoria and most people in Pretoria speak Afrikaans which is, uh, it has Germanic roots. Um, so. We probably will have uh, use English and Afrikaans during the classes and so on. Okay, let's yeah. go. So yes, we want to teach them how to use Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and WhatsApp. And we specifically chose these four um, apps because that's what we think they will use. Facebook, uh, find friends, communicate with friends. Instagram, typically you want to show off have you seen my eldest grandchild, the picture of, and so on, pin interest? Oh, yes, and Willie is, Willie is going to have his first grandchild now, eh? Eh? So that's no, why not, not me, not my you. daughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. then so. pin interest. Um, you have the different um, interest groups, uh, typically in a retirement village, and showing how to use boards and, and um, sharing boards. I think would be interesting for the elderly. And then WhatsApp, which WhatsApp in South Africa, but we the main users of, of WhatsApp as a com medium of communication. Everybody use WhatsApp. So if you want to talk to your grandchildren or your children, you use WhatsApp because internet access at various Wi-Fi points is free and you can use WhatsApp then, right? Okay, so what we did was to say, this is our target audience, so we need to understand a bit about how they will sort of uh, approach learning or how they will learn. And, and we, we came up with the, 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 this point to say, we think they're very uncertain about how to learn the social media apps and things. They lack confidence to just do things, and they sometimes very really self-conscious and not asking questions or asking for help. And then there's the cost aspect as well. Uh, people who is retired usually are very sensitive to what do things cost. And I think we have a very cheap kind of version of communications for people here. So um, then our approach to do this learning is we, we decided it has to be linear the one thing follows the next 
and then we have to do it in a step-by-step -step way and during all these steps there must be positive uh, reinforcement Billy, you want, do you want to say something about yeah I just think of my mum and I think most of us have, uh, hopefully your, your parents still alive can relate to this is they 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 sort of not slow learners but they unsure and and and, and they they approach things in a very determined manner. So I, if I can do this, I build confidence and then on to the next step, build confidence in the process. And every time you have that reinforcement, you're doing good, you've shown that you, you can do it, you're ready for the next step. Okay, so uh, as we said, we have the uh, our students, um, live together in a retirement village. They, they have a communal hall where they, where they eat, but they also use the hall for social gatherings, interest group gatherings, and so on. So once a week, we will see them in a face-to-face -face, um, situation, but we're in a distant learning institution. So part of our community, community engagement product, we want to see whether we can roll out and adapt this, uh, this course to a fully online module. So if we can do away with the face-to-face -face, um, part of it in future, um, that would be good because then we can reach a wider audience. Um, seeing them face-to-face -face and then online lecturers is what ba Bernard has insisted on calling this typical example of a blended approach. I left out the typical. I okay, you left out the typical, right. <laughs> So what we, what we chose to use is, is Canvas as, as a learning management system. And, and we, we like the learning management system as it, it is free and it provides service space at no additional cost. So it's always a problem. Where do you upload your stuff for other people to use? And then it gives you the structure, this privacy. It's a safe environment. It gives you the tools to organize people, to manage them. You have communication tools. It's all provided by uh, your learning management systems. We thought that that is a very good idea to use that. And, and, and Canvas helps you also to have a linear learning path that, that we will uh, package this course in. And it gives you the tools to create the content and it has various assessment tools, activities, discussion groups, and, and things like that that you can use for assessment. But we'll talk about just a bit more when we, we go to the actual course. So let's see. Okay, so we've referred to uh, positive reinforcement. So the approach we will have is sort of take it step by step. You have to do this, demonstrate that you um, have done that and use that information to, to build on. Now we, we're going to start off, as we like to see, we're going to see start off with Facebook and then go on to the other apps. But the, the installation part of all the apps are the same. So sort of you basically follow the same steps. So what we are um, going to do is use the installation for Instagram. Make that a task for them to do. It will also show that they're competent and confident in what, the, what they've learned in Facebook, the steps, the steps that we've, we've taken there. Student support, we again taking our target audience, uh, lack of con uh, confidence and so on. Um, to my, we, we will have student support throughout. We see them for the weekly sessions, but in between we're available via email and cell phones. There are also discussion groups, not only face-to-face -face discussion groups, they live together so they can ask one another, but they also a discussion uh, group forum in Canvas, which uh, Bernard will return to li later. But we also decided that amongst any group, they're, they're usually the, the kids that sit in front of the, in, in the, in the front of the class, the class champion. So I don't want to use it in a negative way, but um, you learn from your peers. And we will try and identify these champions and get them aboard so that they can help the rest of the group. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move to the Canvas uh, um, site. Let me just uh, stop share this one. Share screen page. That one? That one. Okay. Yep. Ah, yes, our, uh, our e learning course on Canvas. And this will be our welcome page for social media. And um, the most important part begins with this modules. Now, in, in the student views, they will only see our own modules, discussions, and people. The rest of the uh, buttons on, are not there. And modules is the path. Uh, what we do, the, yes, we divided it up into different sections. Now, I just quickly want to look at the sign up. It's, it's not going to be part of the course, but this is how we're going to uh, invite them. We're going to typically we're going to do it with email, and they will receive the following message on the email with pictures in because this is where we follow that step-by-step -step approach yeah so uh, you, i just want to yeah you will remember that that we said uh, our, uh, our target audience are familiar with email they can use computers they they used to email so um receiving an email and opening an email is not a new um thing for them and why is balance okay this thing is not opening so but in any case we will upload this on the on the uh, yeah. on the site uh, this document which you can see the sign up process the whole steps so now they've been signed up the first meeting we have is we will make sure that they can actually have all been able to sign up that i have done that uh, successfully so that will be the first outcome and then we're going to go into <coughs> navigation and we can basically spend some time in the face-to-face -face teaching them um, about um, how to navigate in this particular learning management system. And these are the sort of pictures they will see. <clears throat> and this is where they go through the uh, modules, the, the different learning modules. So we will spend some time and make sure that they're comfortable uh, navigating uh, through this uh, system. Then what we do is uh, next. It's come next. But this is where we've introduced them to a discussion group, and it's typically that icebreaker thing where they can say something about themselves and, and so on, and then they learn about the discuss discussion group. So that's that's also one of the the, the, the outcomes that we we try to achieve here. Mm. Really? Now, now all of this will take place. Oh, During yes, yeah. the, the, the first face-to-face -face, um, session. Now, we referred to the email that we sent them, which you can't see now, but um, we will also use that session to uh, get on board anybody that that's not, that struggled with the, the sign-up process to, um, to Canvas. <clears throat> So, and then we will start with the, our teaching and learning approach. This will be explained. It's that uh, PowerPoint we went through. If you click here, you, you, you'll get that uh, PowerPoint. And we also look at, at um, our student support, which is um, described here, and the way they, they will be evaluated. This is also information for them. That they understand what is the support we give and how we will evaluate, I don't want to say test. So the first uh, thing we, we wanted to do with them is then Facebook, and this happens in the first class. Mm. What I think we're going to do is to say, okay, this is your Facebook learning unit. So start working through this, and the three of us will be there to guide them and help each one to actually go through this uh, step by step. Uh, in terms of the the Facebook, so is that right, Billy? Yep. So if we open up one of them, you'll notice that we we we've taken a. Okay, let's start here, and and uh, the, the first task is going to be to say, okay, you must now create the Facebook page. Yeah. And here we say there's ten steps uh, or nine steps that is involved in in in, in this uh, uh, setting up your Facebook page, and we will say, okay, let's start. The signing up process, which you can either click here or you go to next, and this is basically the way we are going to 
do this. Once again, you see this that step one, step two, uh, and they, they must be linked there. Um, and anyway, you use the screenshots of the actual Facebook page and to let them fill in that uh, information. And then we also have a video clip that plays, if you click there, it's, it's one we get from, from YouTube, so which we cut up. Now, you will notice that, that, that we're not giving the lecture. The lecture is the video clip, short section of what they must do and they must follow the steps and so on. The role of, of, of the three of us is just to give support, sort of hover over the shoulder and see whether they will all I'm um, achieving what they're supposed to do. And at the end of each step, like we said, we will make sure that everybody is on board, at least up to that point, before we carry on to the next step. So the next step is then again, in, the, in this case, we, what you're typically now gonna get, you must do the security check to see if you're a person and not a some bot or robot. And there again, we have the screenshot, instructions, the video clip. Once they completed that step, they go on to the next. But the idea is for them to work on their own through this and, and for us just to assist them. Because we think it will make it easier when you go to the next uh, part of the uh, lessons like Instagram and so on. <clears throat> so then, so it goes on. I'm just gonna go back to that um, module page. So they work through this and, and we assist them and, and eventually the whole end result must be that they have created the Facebook page. Yeah, that means uh, you get one star or uh, some credit or something and uh, then we will say, okay, let's go on to the next one. And what happens now, Billy, you can help me now. We will then say to them now, the next step, the next thing you must do is to send a message. But that we leave on the e-learning and I have to do it during the week. And when we come back the next week, we will then um, see what, uh, what is the problems I have and see whether they were able to do that. Yeah, this, is, then, um, this is then where the blended approach really, yeah. really kicks in because now we use existing knowledge, we give them online the, 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 the lectures or the content for the next lecture, but we make it part of the assessment. They must, must find friends, they must post something on, um, on, 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 on Facebook as well. So that will be, our, uh, uh, the assessment of that will be the, the, the kickoff phase of the next face-to-face -face group. And so we, we follow the same kind of procedures when we do Instagram. No, we, before we go to that, no, uh, we also have then, uh, all of this will be on, on their laptops or computers. Then we are also going to transfer, we'll go through the same process on mobiles. So uh, yeah. if there's time in the next face-to-face uh, -face meeting, um, that's the plan, we will complete the, the mobile part of the Facebook lecture uh, also. And then we'll move, Bama, to Instagram. Yes, and we follow the same sort of procedures there. Mm -hmm. And we then also go to pin interest and then WhatsApp. Yeah, and as we referred to, it is sort of because of the same steps are repeated with each app. Um, you have that reinforcement of knowledge and, and the building of confidence. Um, yeah, it's a bit slow. We're working on banners. No, no, this is one of the problems you have now with Canvas because it's the service in America and it, it tends to be a bit just a bit too slow and, and can become a bit irritating. So um, I, we probably will, will uh, put it on the server down here, but uh, we'll see. Uh, this is just a part of the problems with e-learning. Okay, so, yeah. so um, I think we can stop the... We can stop the screen. And we can go back to looking at ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know, Vili, I think um, it went well. We will practice again, and in the synchronous section, we will probably be a bit better prepared and, and know what to say. And so, so what we're going to do, um, and probably you won't know this because we're only going to do it now, we're going to upload this on, on, on YouTube, put that link on, so you actually um, see this uh, recording in, in YouTube, 
but we will also um, and give you, an, um, you can go to the Canvas link and work through the actual Canvas course. And there you will see a copy of our PowerPoint presentation. Uh, and also the link that didn't open to the invitation to email. Oh, yes, yeah. 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 So we will also post the link to Canvas and see whether you can uh, enroll for the course. That, <laughs> that will be part of your ah, okay. uh, we can do that. Uh, what you yeah. have to do next yeah. week. And then, then we'll see you in the, the synchronous session right then. Okay. Thanks a lot. End recording. Ooh. That one.